And it's showtime. Hello, good evening, and welcome. The Hello. Free Free Podcast Show, episode eighteen, with myself, your host David Blair, and tonight we are joined by other way to my side here, Tommy Slack from O Four O Five Photography. Tommy, how you doing? Good, mate. Good. Good to hear from you, mate, from you. You too, you too. And right through the other side, we have Derek McKay from iFilms. How are you, Del boy? Ah, smashing my man. How's yourself? I'm good, thanks. I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm digging the yellow there. I like your polo top. Ah, it's a nice one, mate. It's a nice one. <laughs> Uh, between them, Tommy and Dell worked on some amazing documentaries, which you can watch. Uh, they, they've been on YouTube now for, we'll, we'll, we'll go over how long they've been on once we talk about the backstory for them. But uh, if, like myself, you are, are furloughed, um, or maybe just find you've got a wee bit more time in your hands, or regardless of all of that, if you're working and you're looking for some top quality viewing that uh, isn't Amazon Prime or Netflix or any of the above, uh, I would thoroughly recommend a Ouija Abroad. We'll be watching the trailers for them and we'll be having a chat about them also. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Uh, give us a wee shout in the comments. Let us know who you are, where you're from. We'll give you a wee shout out. Uh, regular viewers of the show will know just at, at this stage, just need to quickly go to our phones and... Give the live video from the 23 Universe page. Uh, we're, we're also streaming live from the YouTube 23 Universe channel and YouTube uh, twitch.com forward slash 23 Universe. So if you want to start a wee watch party on your own timelines or give it a share on any other pages that you manage, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, right, so... Should maybe get myself a wee musical jingle hmm. can be played for, for during this. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. That's it. Go for it, Del. Go for it. Ding, 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 boom. That seems to be like Christmas for you. Right, that's that done. Okay. Bear with me. I'm just getting out on mine. So what have you been up to today then, Tommy? Um, <clears throat> um, I was uh, homeschooling my wee one earlier on today and then uh, I had a I had a small photo shoot to take, actually, a small photo shoot. So it was uh, pretty much one photograph of uh, the pipe shop in Leith Walk, big up the pipe shop. Um, aye, it was a staff photo uh, with their new hoodies, the new pipe shop hoodies. So I was able to take a photograph today. It was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Has that been the, 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 the first work of that kind you've done in a wee while? Um, I have not really taken any pictures in a long time, man. Eh? Um, aye. Aye. I have not been shooting, so it was, it, was good. it was good. Especially with other people, do you know what I mean? Aye. Of someone. Getting back out and um, reintegrating into society. Yes. Yes. Aye, so... It was cracking. People walking through the shots and that, but it didn't really annoy me. <laughs> what, what, what's the what's the pipe factory? Um, it's a pipe shop. Pipe shop. Oh, and, pipe shop. So it's a um, tobacco shop. And, um, sells pipes, cigars, and tobacco. ah, right, okay. Yeah. Is 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 there? I was getting conflated there with some. Is there is there a venue called the Pipe Factory? Is that in Glasgow or is that in Edinburgh? That rings a bell for some reason. Um, I don't know, dude. Am I making that up? Or have I, 
imagined it. Eleven plus weeks on lockdown. Yeah. I think uh, I'm, I'm starting to imagine a lot of things. There's the ice factory or something. There, yeah. Well, there is the ice factory. Uh, actually, yeah. I think the I think the pipe factory is up at, um, behind the Royal Conservatoire. Uh, I think that's like what Scotland's national pipe academy. They maybe call it the pipe factory. Potentially because they made bagpipes there back in the day. I'm sure. I'm sure. I maybe been to a function or something in it. I'll Google it. I'll Google it. And uh, what about yourself, Derek? Uh, what have you been up to? Working, shopping, and stuff like that, and just trying like, to make way for some new kit that I ordered online and stuff like that. So busy, busy. What does your do? I got a nice wee machine, mate. So I did. I got a nice uh-huh. machine. Aye, wait, aye. Yeah. <laughs> for for photography. Yeah, yeah, but bit of that and a bit of video and that as well. So I did. So. Okay. Yeah. Are you I'm working not... on anything? Anything just now? Yeah, a few things in that, but I don't like to mention anything until it's done and dusted and stuff like that because god forbid you could never know what goes wrong <laughs> oh exactly i uh, ed- editorial control aye, and all the rest exactly. of it and... exactly hi i mean silence until everything is rendered that's my until fault. yep uh, i'm the same as well until until you've got all your ducks in a row and you're ready to launch something uh there's aye. no point in jinxing it is there mm. uh We've got a few folks there in the comments. Um, Gary Penders and Springburn. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, Lewis, big fan of both your work. Much love from Greenock. Thanks very much for tuning in, Lewis. Um, I'm I'm guessing Lewis has seen your Ouija abroad as well. Um, Neil, even if David got in the big telly tonight, that might keep me awake. (laughs) Oh, maybe I the piping centre. Aye, that's that's. Th- thanks for correcting me, uh, Neil. Thank you very much. So, um, your your respective photography careers. Um, so I've known yourself, Tommy, from doing some amazing music videos. Um, probably or maybe possibly before I seen a Ouija abroad. Um, and also, you, you've continued smashing it out there, making some amazing, amazing music videos for uh, folk as varied as well. I'm wearing Loki's t-shirt tonight. I was yeah. looking in the, I was looking in the cupboard and what, uh, what, what, what sprang to mind. Um, you, you've done some, some amazing ones with uh, Gasp. Or, yeah. Uh, you had to change his name on Facebook. I think he's Brian Adams, though, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I had to go with the real name. Uh, and videos with gas, 13. Oh. 13 videos now. Oh, um, oh. We, can, we can maybe pop one on a wee bit later on. Um, um, I, 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 would, I would hope we won't have a, a copyright infringement. Uh, YouTube are no. taken to snipping these streams if I go for anything that's like maybe on like a major label or anything. Nah, go for it, mate. So I've, I've learned, learned my lesson there. Um, and also, you, you've, you've made a few now with Miracle Glass Company. Yeah. Aye. The boys are fire. Aye. Uh, you, you, you've, you've been making some music videos as well, Dale. Aye, aye. I've been way Tommy and that doing Miracle Glass stuff and all that, getting him a horn in the side, and their, their boys are absolutely smashing, so they're... Uh, genuinely one of my favourite rock and roll bands in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I, I think they're hoping to get them on the show at some point in the future. Um, put the invitation the out to, vinyl, the, to the lads and Bob. Say that again. Did you get the new vinyl? I do have it. I uh, got it sat in my vinyl pile. Um, I got the CD as well. So I still play CDs in my car. Yeah. Uh, I've still got, I... Uh, a, an older vehicle I think uh, well, last year was the first year where vinyl overtook CD sales and CDs came out and, and hit the mass market yeah. um, I think that that's also coincided with the fact that car manufacturers basically just stopped, put, stopped putting CD players in cars now as well so the, yeah. the end is nigh for the old CD yeah. Aye, it's nice. It's nice to have a vinyl in your hand. 
I've got a wee collection now. Uh, also, Miracle Glass Company was the last gig that I went to. Yep. Oh, it was actually the last fucking gig at King Tut's. So, why? So, yep. Class. So, it was Saturday the 14th of March. Um, so, to take us back to the beginning of uh, your respective photography paths, what, 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 what made you first get into that, Tommy? Um, I don't know when I was oh fuck's sake. Uh, when I was wee, my mum got me cameras, eh? <laughs> so taking pictures and I like I've got drawers full of pictures uh, over the years and stuff. I always had different cameras, but um, ultimately, I think what made me try and do it professionally full time. Uh, I was working as a graphic designer full time um, and I'd done that for fucking like six years and uh, it just got really repetitive so like just got sick of the office stuff so handed them a notice, bought a camera, um, went to Australia for a year, um, learned the camera, got fucking published in the paper got published in the, the Guinness Book of Records for the most people twirling fire at one point in time. The uh, most people who were on fire? Twirling fire. Oh, twirling fire, right? Yeah, twirling fire. There's like 150 people or something twirling fire. Okay. Um, but I fucking smashed it over there. <laughs> fucking it was amazing. But came home and just uh, got into the music photography. It was just like applying for work. and ended up getting shoots and uh, it's just snowballed and here here we are man. and here we are and uh, just as we're going through the chat as you as you know regular viewers of the show i will be giving we're all about promoting and supporting our creative community helping them to thrive and whatnot um social media is one of the best ways that we can go about that uh today so i'll just give tommy's facebook share there uh, in the comments, please give it a wee like. 0405 Photography. Uh, I've got a few more comments come in there. There's uh, Sunny tuning in. Uh, gloomy streams on the Twitch by the beard of Zeus. Tommy, that beard is heavenly. Uh, Jude Bungle. Hi, guys. Hi, Jude. She's also complimenting your beard, Tommy. Uh, what, about co what about compliments for, the, for Dale's ponytail? Dale, you need you. Oh, I'll tell you that. I ain't in a bag. <laughs> And uh, uh, how about yourself then, Dale? What 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 made you first started getting into the photography? Uh, well, really, it's kind of been a long, uh, gradual journey and stuff like. I, I used to kick about the mm. hip hop scene uh, back in the day with a group called Home Home, like Grown Fam. Used to go at like, all at their gigs, and then I got to know every, uh, everybody the likes of. Lit Mog, Big Dive, Steg G, the Free Lit Style Master, eh, and all of that. And I used to rap and stuff like that and all that as well. Back, back in the day, I stopped all of that because everybody else in the granny's rap, eh, rapping and all of that. So I'm like, right, I'll let them do that and I'll stick to something else. But eh, Send one, it into the fucking TV mob. <laughs> <laughs> ah, exactly, exactly. Ah, so... Eh, I was doing that, I was making tunes, uh, and I'd always wanted to go abroad. So I did, so I finally done it. Made some wee selfie videos going here, there, uh, and stuck them up online, and people were like, oh, that's good, that's smashing, you should do it next time, bigger and better, like places at Universal Studios and all that, with the donkey for Shrek and all that, just getting some patter on, let it go. People were yeah. like, oh, uh, loving it, and all that. like, oh, you should date it bigger, you should date it be uh, better and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, all right, all right, go for that. Uh, and I got to new Tommy because I knew he was working with Gasps and he was in the same kind of circle that uh, the talent was in with knowing all the boys and stuff like that. And uh, we decided to hook up and start a like, pro uh, like, product project. I thought it was maybe going to be some sort of wee skets in me abroad like wee funny bits here and there, but it morphed and changed and became what it became, and it was fire. Great so, uh, something to look uh, back. 
Oh, definitely, it's it's a it's an online legacy, isn't it? Um, so that's that's I found monumental. and then after we the we did abroad, that's when I decided I was right into the camera, and I was like, ah, right, I'm going to go for this now. So started to make hip hop videos for folk, and I love taking pictures here, there, and everything. So I prefer to be now behind the camera rather, yeah, in front of it now, so they. So that's it, uh, iFilms and Mac I Photos. He's copying you. <laughs> yeah. Um, imitation is the highest form of flattery, they say, Tommy. <laughs> well, I was saying it any form. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've just given Dell's Facebook page a wee share there in the comments as well. That's uh, iFilms and Mac I Photos. Please give that a wee like there. There's Christine Pearson saying hello, Tommy. Christy Pearson, sorry. Oh, and. The big man. Gary Buchanan up in uh, Cumbernauld to you and Gary. Uh, just had a quick look at Tommy's photos there. Class, I'll have a pro proper look later on. Please do bookmark that. Um, um, obviously, we're all about a bit of cross-pollination as well and introducing the guests here on the 23 Podcast Show. They've been kind enough to give up some of their time to come on, sit and have a chat with me. I'm sitting on my sofa, furloughed, on lockdown. Um, so Dell was referencing there obviously a, a Ouija abroad. So we, we've got we've got Tommy for a uh, half an hour, so he's got some some things to do. So we'll just we'll continue the chat, and then we've got some of the trailers lined up, um, which we'll 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 play after after Tommy's half hour is up. Then uh, hopefully the trailers whet your appetite enough as well. Then and you'll go on and watch the the whole documentaries because they're 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 fantastic. Um, Brought back a lot of memories for me, Dell. I, I was a Ouija abroad. I spent two months in Thailand in two thousand and eight. Oh. It was uh, quite, quite a. I must have been a the... game as well. It must have been quieter and things like that back then. Uh, definitely not quieter. No, I mean, like even Phuket had been totally rebuilt after the tsunami. Mm. Uh, I spent I spent some time down there, but um, like what what resonated. Well, there were many things that resonated with me watching uh, your journey over in Southeast Asia, and it was, it was quite an emotional uh, impact. Um, well, there was emotional sense to, to to your journey over there, and um, a bit of spiritual finding and a bit of spiritual journey and stuff like that as well. And it was quite similar for me because it was uh, that that two months there where I consecutively binge drank for 45 days and nights was basically the end for me when I decided after that when I came back and discovered I had an ulcer after an exploratory endoscopy and biopsy and um, so some some other worse things including the early stages of cancer in my esophagus that's when I decided to quit alcohol so um, I'm now 11 years uh, 11 years and 2 months off it tomorrow uh, and that all started because I went to Thailand. So any any time I watch anything about there, like, that's that's what connects it to me in my mind. So it was um, it's quite emotional for me when I was watching watching your one as well. But like I could, but it was it was like empathetic emotions a lot of the time. So I'm not going to give away like, everything in it uh, for for those that haven't seen it. But I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll over to you guys. I'll let you talk about the the genesis of that and talk a wee bit more about it. On you go, Dale. I will, I'll let you round up the <laughs> second film and I'll round up the third film. <laughs> well, um, hi, Ouija Abroad. Fucking hell, right? So basically, it's a trilogy, it's three films. Um, like Dale said, uh, he got in touch with me and do you want to make this thing we'll go abroad we'll go to Amsterdam we'll go to Germany and we'll go to Austria so fucking that's how it started we only had like one camera handheld um aye just 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 the two of us and one <laughs> camera handheld um, so obviously with our media broad one and it was just fucking mad experience. It was phenomenal. Like 
uh, traveling across the beautiful, beautiful fucking landscapes. Um, yeah. We're up in the Alps and that, eh? Like, uh, what year was that one? Uh, that was, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, um, I, where were we? Salzburg. Salzburg in Austria is just like one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. It. It's fucking unbelievable. Um, so I, we, we, we shot that film and it was, we were obviously happy at the time with it. And then uh, just we were practicing uh, using the camera and just evolving the art um, by the time it came to doing Ouija Abroad 2 fucking you know the skills had been fucking uh, fine tuned oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Um, for me for me do you know what I mean I was, I was able to make it a better a better production a better film uh, and uh, fucking hell <laughs> uh, I watched uh, Ouija Abroad 2 like about a week ago for the first time in about five years or something, eh? fucking years. And I can't even believe I made that film. I can't even believe we've done all those things. Fuck. From the very, very start, every single line, like the whole film is relentless. It's fucking every single line. It's absolutely bananas. I can't believe we've done it. I haven't even seen it in a bit. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. I've no watching. Oh, what, what, what year was a Ouija Abroad 2? Ouija Abroad 2, I'm sure yeah. it's probably 2014. 14. And just whilst, whilst we're at it, the, uh, the third one was when? Uh, 2013. Right. Um, oh. Aye, so the second one fucking was obviously America, San Diego, LA and fucking uh, Las Vegas. And oh my god, what a fucking hit! And aye, it's amazing. And then by the time we came to the third one, of course, it, it got better at what we were doing. Aye, fucking hell! Uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. Watch Dell travel <laughs> and eat and explore and meet people fucking from all over the world. Unbelievable! What an experience. They're quality. Uh, how long were you, how long were you over in the Golden Triangle for? The project, the last one, the Ouija Brother 3, that was uh, fucking like a year and a half project. A year and a half, like, non-stop to make that hour-long movie. Mm. Fucking trailer and all the stuff that goes with it. But I sold out cinemas, met, sold out cinemas. Uh, uh, that, you know, uh, in Lane. We got it played there. They, Second one as well. We got the second one played there, and we got the third one played there as well. So, uh, so what we did? Big screen. Second, the third one, Ashton Lane. Oh, and Mark. the Grove. The Grove. Monumental. I remember seeing Media Broad on the fucking on the board, and uh, it was beside fucking Jurassic Park World or something. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I even went I even went went out and bought my own red carpet. Did it. you? <laughs> Brilliant. We are gonna uh, go, go for it. Of course. Uh, we yeah, do we, anything. We, we we've made it as big and grand as we could because it was just fucking tons of fun. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It was like we're not just gonna like make the video and just just put it out on YouTube. Like I mean we did put it on YouTube but we, Fucking had those premiers and stuff, and mind for Ouija Abroad too, the American one. Fucking everyone was fucking dressed up in suits, and it was all like fucking American style. Fucking Adele got fucking piped on the fucking street, man. Eh? It I know. <laughs> fucking, I just wanted to fucking push it as, as high and as much as we could. Eh? So, um, uh, yeah, I, you I think we've done, we've done really good. We've done really good. I think uh, bits of the, the, the films are on like I forget, it's like fourteen thousand views or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong, but fucking, uh, I thought that was fucking. It's it's good for an hour long doco. I mean, it should have more, but still good. It's really good. We've got a few folk in the comments there. Uh, Libby Smith, evening folks. Hi, Libby. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Jude saying she's dying to see this. You will uh, just after 
Tommy jumps off uh, in five minutes. We'll stick the the first trailer on, and then you can go and uh, watch watch the full documentaries in your own time. Gary Buchanan, uh, thanks guys. I'm definitely checking it a wee abroad over the next few days. Nice one, G. Thank you very much. Um, so, how long is how long are each of the documentaries? Basically, an hour each. Uh, okay. I and mean, the last I, one in the go- the golden triangle. How, how long were you there for as a holiday? A month, uh, four weeks. Four weeks. So we were there for four weeks. We went to v- uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. And I've got to say, the one that I enjoyed the most was Cambodia. Uh, seeing the seeing the like, temples, it was nice and peaceful, going like a bit. But also at the same point of time. It was also good to chill on the I Litland and Co PP and things like yeah. that. I was in a bamboo hut at the top of the hill, just walking yeah. down. Just oh, it was an amazing wee lanes and stuff. Yeah. People yeah. 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 and stuff. You're like, oh man, this is actually turned into more than just this. Is not just a movie. This is brilliant to have this to just remember and go like, oh, oh. totally. You know what I mean? Fire. Yeah. Paradise. Oh, yeah, man, it really I'm, is. Paradise. Mm. There's mm. one of the monks at the top of the hill, man. Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> the sunset, mate. The sunset. Oh. Fuck. Yeah. The yeah. fucking the, 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 the local barman with the, the roll jays and the fucking mushrooms, eh? Fucking class. Where, where was that? Yeah. Co PP. Co PP. Yeah. That's that's the one off the in the Andaman Sea off the coast of Phuket. Is that right? I I just I, we it's left Phuket very quickly. That was a fucking bad bad bit. That didn't even make the film. We we had two nights in Phuket and it didn't even we didn't film. We didn't enjoy ourselves. It was fucking chaos, man. Uh, were, were you were you down the strip in Phuket? Uh, I remember. Really- the the, 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 main, the main bit really we all like the bars up up and down side by side ping pong show ping pong show you're all right aye aye you get you, they do try and pull you in all of them actually I, 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 I successfully bribed uh, two policemen in Phuket when I was on a moped one for going up a one way street the wrong way uh, and the other one for 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 being on a moped without a helmet, and um, it was like the two two officers flagged me down. Now I didn't realise that there was a uh, bribe and etiquette when you're over there. That if you're going to bribe, you're supposed to make the bribe to the senior officer out the two, if mm. you know which one's the senior. So there was one time. Um, there was another time I got caught doing the same thing. Like every time I was pushed as well, but that that wasn't any of the charges. Uh, there was twice I went down, so they've got like the one-way system in Phuket, and there was twice I went down the one-way street the wrong way, and then one of the times uh, I didn't offer to bribe the senior officer, so mm. then the senior officer just wrote out my ticket and was like, right, get yourself down to like, the main police station and, and pay whatever it was, like 20,000 baht fine or something like that, but I, I did it, but... Uh, did you ever find yourself in the situation where you had to make any bribes? No, we were for, we were fortunate enough. No, we didn't. But I think we we turned up at some mad hotel in Phuket. Remember, Tommy? And there was no room for us. Or something. Uh, that was nuts. Ah, oh, that was oh, and oh, I, I can't even remember. Uh, you seen how we ended up on a. We so one one of one of our mates had recommended this area in uh, where was it? The hell, fucking Pattaya. Uh, yeah, it was. Was it in uh, Pattaya? Pattaya. Ah, aye, aye. It was. My mate, Andy Mackay. If you're watching, I'm never <laughs> <laughs> forget. <laughs> recommended this area, <laughs> and um, we booked a hotel in the area. In fucking hell. <laughs> um, we got to the hotel and uh, they had just, we couldn't get a room. The, the, the booking was non existent. It was just fucking crap. Free for all. 
And then we found out later that that was the gay area as well, eh? So, <laughs> just, just you were pl- pleased funny. to get out. But uh, I'll tell you, one of the, we didn't do any bribes, but one of the dodgiest things that fucking happened. <clears throat> and thinking back, Dell, this should fucking this definitely definitely should have made the film. This mm. should have been fucking in Ouija Broad Free. Fucking oh. hell! Right, so we fly to fucking we leave we leave. Glasgow or Edinburgh, and we fly to fucking uh, Dubai. So we're in Dubai. We fly to fucking Vietnam. We're in Vietnam, chilling, making the film. We get the bus from Vietnam uh, to Phnom Penh in Cambodia, right? And uh, fucking... Aye, we flew from Cambodia after going up to the temple, sorry, and um, we flew from Cambodia to Bangkok. And because we were in a five-star hotel for the first time after like in hostels and just fucking on a budget traveling. So we got the five-star hotel in Bangkok. So I said to Dell fucking for the, the five-star hotel scene have the fucking string vest and like a suit jacket like for the five star hotel so fucking Dell had packed his stuff and we were in this five star hotel in Bangkok fucking the Pullman G Hotel banging hotel unbelievable and uh, fucking hell Dell pulled out uh, like what like a gram of weed high grade weed fucking like we had travelled all the like <laughs> so many borders in custom oh. and that we had in his pocket the whole time man oh for fuck's sake no I know I forgot about it it was that just was stinking as well mate I was oh. stinking I could not believe oh. it oh so uh, man, that's, pro- that's probably a 10, a, ten, a 10 year sentence in, in Thailand as well I just because he, you were at an art gallery show uh, the last time you wore that suit and went, that's still clean enough. So it is to hang with in that thing. You pulled it up, get it in, and you're like, ah, oh, that's right, I got a bag in that thing, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. That, I mean, oh, think how much trouble that could have caused at any border. Oh, I oh, definitely. Dubai, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. Oh, I. That was got a bag of weed in his pocket the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> It, 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 could have, it could have, it could, have, it could, have, it could have changed from a Ouija abroad to fucking a Ouija banged up abroad. Right, oh, dire. But luckily enough, some good saint is looking yeah, at Oh, well, Libby was saying, bet you were happy to find it though. <laughs> oh no, because we were in Thailand and I ain't smoking that man. <laughs> stuff like that, as you were saying. Aye. You didn't want to smell it in some sort of way, so I, I'll tell you the truth. I just disposed it. I was like, I don't, I just don't want to be smelled. Let's see you're there, as you say. It's not funny business and stuff. I, I, I know, I don't, I don't blame you. I had that thing, mm. you know, I mean, here that's it, you're, you're away. And yeah, stuff. I don't blame you. Um, I, I, rem- I remember being, I went, I went to the full moon party at Copang Yang, um, and down at Hadron Beach there. Um, up the side of the mountain, they call it Mushy Mountain. So you can go up and you can buy mushroom shakes uh, up there. And there seems to be some kind of like loose understanding that they're totally fine anyway. But uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a, a zero tolerance drugs country. And I mean, folk get banged up there for for fucking. There was a Scottish guy. I remember like, when I was over. There was a Scottish guy who got sentenced to life in jail because he was pissed and he, uh, he was pissed and he pissed on um, well, you know, the statues of Buddha normally had the picture of the king mm. next to them as well, and he fucking pissed on the king's portrait and a Buddha statue, wow. um, and I uh, he he got sentenced. It's it's. Oh, wait a minute. Look. Memories a bit patchy, obviously, with it being 12 years ago, but it was either something like they sentenced him to death, which got reduced down to life, or he was sentenced to life, which then got reduced to something. But uh, I mean, it's some serious, serious shit. I mean, they don't they don't take any pish over there, as you'll know, guys. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I can even uh, so there's big like uh, signs like fucking massive billboard signs saying uh, it's, it's, uh, it's against the law to disrespect Buddha and it's got like tattoos of Buddha are illegal fucking but in every tattoo shop you go in there's fucking pictures of fucking Buddha eh? <laughs> it's mad but that is yeah. illegal, yeah. it's illegal it's illegal yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, if, if you're there long enough, you'll 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 learn all these things anyway. Uh, Gary Buchanan saying he had a similar experience in South America. Glad you're still with us, then, Gary. Mary, uh, he was bloody lucky. Uh, yes, yes, he was. Um, so, I mean, I'm I'm conscious of the time, mate. That's that's thirty five minutes. If you need to shoot off, I've still got five. I'll finish this beer, mate. Cool, mate. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll have about we, we just dive in and watch uh, the first trailer that we've got lined up for yep. VG Abroad too. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so I'll just mute myself, Tommy and Dell. We'll pop on the first trailer we're going to watch and we'll see you on the other side. Nice. Excuse me, uh, do, do you saw a wine called Buckfast when it's Light! Right. Camera! Action! We, we left, left out like the scumbag, scumbag too! too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Buckfast. Much, much has that. Where are you from? Uh, Australia? Oh, you're fucking... Ah! Ah! There we go. Mark my words. One day, I'm having one of them, and I know I'm up. We're in rat country. Vegas! Sparta! Oh! Do you have a hotel at this room? No, no, mate. No. Come back to our room and have a rail, bro. I'm with my boy here, scumbag here, who's lost his damn mind. Oh, yeah, that's it. You're, you're always <laughs> you always need to them up, right? Oh, and oh, we're back. We're back. Oh, wait. I can't believe I've never seen that in fucking. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, gee. Oh. I've just given that YouTube trailer a share there in the comments. So, um. What you should do is make a new trailer for the film because the film is amazing. The trailer is so long. Fucking hell. I never even knew that trailer existed. My question there, Del, was that a half bottle of, empty half bottle of Bucky next to you the, in the last scene? Uh, aye, that, and that was in Vegas on the strip, so it was. Uh, that's you, found, called... you found Bucky? No, I took it away, isn't it? Oh, right, 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 okay. At that point, uh, in my life, like Buckfast, I was like, hey, hey, but no, I've calmed down. I've actually quit dr uh, drinking and I didn't even know uh, like, it and stuff like that. Went abroad. Okay. With, uh, I Tommy. remember in uh, fucking uh, San, Fran San Francisco, no, fucking um, San Diego, and we were in the, uh, the pharmacy and they sold beer in the pharmacy. Aye, that's right, man. That was oh. mental, wasn't it? Oh. In the farm. Aye. Oh, could you believe that? Oh. 
beer in the pharmacy in San Diego. There's Gary was saying that looks hilarious. It is uh, Mary absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, the, the other one, the other one's much better. Like the the third one's a better trailer. Okay, you want me to play it just now? Aye. Aye. That's fine. That's what it's got. Okay, I'll mute us again. We're just going to watch the the trailer for the the third part of the the trilogy out in the Golden Triangle in Southeast Asia, and we'll be back on the other side. This is brilliant as well. Uh, enjoy. Shouldn't be good. Shouldn't be good. Tell me. We're back again. <laughs> Brilliant. Just giving that a share in the comments as well. Uh, um, them, well, I think all of them were released on uh, Tommy's uh, YouTube channel, 0405 Photography. Uh, Tommy has some amazing videos on there uh, across music and a week abroad. So please give his YouTube channel a subscribe and uh, check out lots of the other amazing music videos. He's done 13 with Gasp. Um, the best cunts in the country say he's the best cunt in the country and uh, he's done some with Loki as well um, he's done a few with Miracle Glass Company so across the spectrum from some of the best hip hop uh, artists we have uh, ever in this country to for me one of the best rock and roll bands in the world uh, who deserves to be playing when we can play live again to a sellout barrel and ballroom and, and all the rest of them uh, hopefully uh, hopefully that will be part of their journey on the other side of this. Uh, there's Are You Really Alive? Yes, lads. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, <coughs> just well, <while, coughs> excuse me. <coughs> uh, are You Really Alive? Uh, Scott, thanks for tuning in, mate. Also another amazing hip-hop artist. He sent me his new video. Uh, also, I'm conscious of time with you guys as well. So um, just once we get to the end of it, Scott, if you tune in... Um, I'm going to give a play of your uh, video that you sent me just at the end of our conversation uh, once uh, Tommy's leaving soonish and once uh, Dell is to leave as well. So stick around, please, and we'll, we'll play another hip-hop video at the end of this. Mary's going to be checking it out. She's giving it the thumbs up. Uh, Libby, Libby's never seen a Ouija abroad. We'll check it out starting from the start. Well, um, uh, every dreamer starts with a dream. Libby, and the best place to start is always the, the start. So, great. Uh, please go on and check them out as well. Um, excellent. So, what, Tommy, any, any final words from yourself before you shoot off? Um, I don't know. Thanks for having me, mate. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you, um, as Likewise. always. Thank um, you. Um, I just hope uh, maybe if anybody watches the Ouija Broad stuff, uh, It'll take your mind away from the madness for an hour. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, uh, stay safe. Definitely. Thanks. Thanks, Tommy. Likewise for yourself, mate. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Peace and love to you and the yeah. family, my man. See you soon, brother. All right, mate. I'll speak to you soon. Catch you in a bit. Peace. And square. Peace to you. Take care, yeah. man. And then there were two.
Yep, yep, then there were two, mate. Then there were two. So, have there been plans for a Ouija Abroad 4? Uh, Ouija Abroad 3 is still getting paid off, mate. So it is, and she'll oh, be okay. still getting paid off for a good wee bit. And it's came to that point now where it's like I've done three already. So because it's actually, as I say, it's coming out of my own pocket, I'm like, right, I've done what I've wanted today. Maybe yeah. in the future when I retire, like we'll do a four and a five or something like that. You never know, you know what I mean, when uh, what the budget looks like. But yeah. uh, for me right now, like, I've got behind the like, camera and stuff like that. I've learned a lot of Tommy and stuff like that. Like, as I said, after like, Ouija Abroad 3, even before that, I'd bought myself a camera and it uh, all started off with me doing selfie videos and stuff and I always liked films and things like that. I was like, oh, I wanted to make mine kind of film and stuff like that. So I kind of done that with a Ouija abroad and now uh, I'm starting to get my own work. I've done videos for uh, MLIP Press and Little Evo and stuff like that. So I have, uh, and it's, it's different and I feel it's a lot better rather than being in front of the camera. You're learning a lot more. Um, a lot yeah. more savvier and stuff like that than doing this and that and it's like oh, it's opened up a new world to us and uh, I don't know what I'd be doing now like if I hang me because I'm always investing in myself buying myself wee bits of new kit like a new camera and stuff like that and getting advice after Tommy going like is that one a good gene is that one no no mate that one's no that good and stuff like that so it's great to have Tommy there to go like aye that's nah mate that's that's rubbish and stuff like that, and get some tips and give him a horn and uh, with some of his stuff and that, and learn as I'm doing it. And that's yep. it's amazing, it's smashing and stuff like that. So that's how like, my iFilms has came about. I always released that kind of brand underneath the Ouija's abroad, abroad and stuff like that, but then after that, I was like, right, here I'll use that and just start to hammer home and get some videos done and get some business and some clients and that in the go and I've even for one of my pals I even shot uh, his like wedding and stuff like that and that was actually a few years ago I thought it was a bit of pre uh, pressure and he's like no mate it's just rather I'd rather have you day de uh, like doing it rather than one of my family members because I was like mate I've not got this I've not got that I can't it's a big ass to ask me to do this I'm not that, uh, that level to do a wedding and stuff like that and uh, he's like no mate just do you like, do you like your thing, you know, that? Uh, so I've done it and that gave me a lot more conf uh, conf uh, confidence and stuff like that to go actually behind the computer and start to edit and do this and do that. So uh, that's me now. I'm doing videos for folk. I'm doing uh, pictures at live events like at Butter and stuff like that. And that charity gig through in like Edinburgh, I think it was like last year. The yellow movement were playing it and stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, that I think that was the second time that I had been and in that. Was, that, uh, that was the, the 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 fair trade gathering in the Usher Hall. Yep, that's the one. That's the one, mate. That's the one. And that was just actually the second time as well that I'd ever been in a photographer's pit. Yeah, you get the pass, and you know, it's like, it was like, and it's shown how far that I've came and. When uh, years and years ago, if you were to ask me if I could do that, I, I'd be going, I'm not capable of doing the stuff I'm doing. Now. No, you're, you're talking about a different man, you're, but it's just doing the Ouija abroad and seeing this and seeing that and starting to learn stuff online and learn off of Tommy and all that. It's like, it's gave me something, so it has. And with the Ouija abroad, I'm kind of hoping that that can give people the inspiration to go out there and travel. You know what I mean? Because it's one of the best things that you can ever do. So Definitely. I yep, I would agree on that. Um, just, we'll jump into a few comments, and then then I, I would quite like to see uh, one of one of the videos that you've you've directed for one of the acts that you worked on, so you can recommend one of them. Uh, thanks for tuning in, Sh Shaza up in Glenrothes. Nice to see you, lads. Uh, Burnley Sun up in Dundee. Hello, Rachel. Um, happy birthday again to the wee man. Peace, love. Mustard, um, Mary was saying your videos, your trailers just bring such a smile to your face. Well, wait until you see the full documentaries, Mary. They will 
they will move you, they will make you laugh. Uh, they're a, a roller coaster of emotions. Um, Shaz has got her sister Wendy watching on her TV on YouTube, spreading the word. Thank you very much. That's that's good to know. Um, there's a uh, Reese Gibbs's tag Billy to come in. Nice one. So thanks everybody for joining us. So um. What video of your own can we watch then, please? Uh, why don't let you play Steg G in the Freelet Style Master Home? It's oh, called yeah. Jack at Home. And this is kind of, it's kind of suiting right now because everybody's kind of stuck at home. They kind of go abroad. They're supposed to be, so it's kind of that. And it celebrates Glasgow and stuff like that as well. This was made last year. Okay. Nice one. Uh, okay, so we're about to watch Steg G featuring the Freestyle Master, Home, which is taken from the album The Air In Between, which uh, featured Solar Eye, CCTV, Freestyle Master and Empress. Uh, what we'll do is we'll watch the video first. It's just over three minutes long. And I'm going to go and uh, search for Steg G and the Freestyle Master are going to be guests on the show uh, in the future. I believe it's later on this month. But nice. uh, what, I'll, what I'll do is I'll find uh, the album this uh, song Home is from there in between is, is phenomenal. Uh, it was a collaboration um, with the Glasgow Barons uh, Orchestra and it's, it's an incredible narrative that weaves its way through the album from start to finish. So we'll watch the video first and I'll just mute myself and Del. Enjoy this video. We'll see you back in a few minutes. So every day I'm born again Woke up this morning, blue sky, the sun shone again Revitalized by the sight of your horizon Down through the years I've saw you metamorphosizing I love your vibrance, they talk about the violence But feel to mention all your engineers and your scientists You're the wisest I've ever known I can roam anywhere but Glasgow, you're my home Spare the youth skirt schemes to the inner city streets Under Santa's clock, how many lovers did me? For your dirty tenements, to your regal elegance, sugar every element that I really could need. Feed the triumph and the tragedy, for govern aid the galligate, the hardships, man, they've been easy to see. You don't hate your scars, underneath facade, your open heart means I thank you for believing in me. You're my truth, you're my light, you're my own. You're the brick, you're the sand and the stone. You're my roots, you're my family tree. You're on truth, but that don't matter to me. You're the air that I breathe, you're the green on the leaves You're the river rolling through, you're the people like me You're my blood, sweat and tears and my flesh and bones No matter where I go, Glasgow, you're my home Outsiders get your name wrong, you put your own slang Your own way, your day and things for day one Individual or strategist with no plan And genius, you made it up on your way along A militant heart, you influence start You build the gallery back, what's cause you're weird and bizarre You're resilient civilians engaged in a war At the Battle of George Square, they fought the law It's all clean You're the reason we're all here Surrounded by these mountains as the hourglass counts feels All the tears shed, all the blood we bled All the words we said, the upsets and success G L A S G O W I love you more than you know And if I ever leave you to chase a new dream The only thing to separate us is the air in between You're my truth, you're my light, you're my own You're the bricks, you're the sand and the stone You're my roots, you're my family tree You're uncouth but that don't matter to me You're the air that I breathe, you're the green on the leaves You're the river rolling through, you're the people like me You're my blood, sweat and tears and my flesh and bones No matter where I go, Glasgow, you're my home
Top work, Bellboy, top work. I love that, man. I love that. Uh, Libby, oh, I've got a Steg G album. What album is that? I'll just give that a share in the comments there and the link to buy the album if you want to check it out is on uh, Steggy's band camp. So I will give that a share in the comments as well. Um, I top, top work, man. Um, brilliant video. It was great to work with Steg G and that and stuff like that. Also done one for Empress as well, another day in that, uh, for the same project and stuff. Uh, and I recently most worked with Little Evil, they threw in Edinburgh and stuff like that, which was good as well to go okay. across to another part, a part of the city and stuff like that. Uh, he released a project called... Uh, Blood Money and Suicide Notes, uh, and it was a four track mini movie, and it's like 10 minutes long. And he's got that, uh, he's got that out in Amazon, Spotify, and that. And he actually he got it out in pre release, uh, and it was in a USB folder and stuff like that. And it had the cover okay. on it and the iFilms, and it was actually good to see something well, actually printed out of your, of your own work and it was on a pen drive and stuff, you're like, oh, it was like, oh, here I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm learning, I'm getting there, you know what I mean, I'm doing it. So it just shows if you put your head down uh, to do something, you can do it, because if I can do it, then anybody else can. That's it, mate, it's just about um, dedication, applying your, your skill to the craft, and well, you're, you're learning from a maestro when it comes to Tommy anyway, aren't you? Well, as I say, it doesn't need to be like behind the camera or whatever. Just whatever you you like, whatever you in, whatever your interests are. And right now, at this point in time, with everybody being stuck in and the mental health, now it's time to go find out what you really like and just know uh, knowledge yourself up in that. And because the best thing you can ever have is not uh, is knowledge, because that tells you right that that's number one and that's number two. And before that, you would. You would be lost. So you only to get that and to grip that like, I need to invest more in myself. What makes yeah. me happy? What can I do? Like what I can learn to play the like P uh, the P I can't even pronounce it right. I've actually got a like stammer and stuff like that. You would never think it because I used to have a really bad one back in the day. But uh, certain words just tick me right off with this and piano. Please. Yes, piano is one of them. Piano is one of them. Aye, so uh, even if it's learning to play the piano, whatever you think, do it. You know what I mean? It may cost a bit yep. of money, then save up all the pennies you can for it. Well, well uh, 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 my, what, what, one of one of my well, not one of my favourite comedian, stroke philosopher, stroke prophet, um, Bill Hicks. There's a famous quote by him which uh, I share in the events for this and stuff like that as well. And we are the facilitators of our own creative evolution. Yeah. And yeah. even for myself, in terms of uh, bringing this podcast back and doing it online, like that, that was a learning process for me uh, with the StreamYard software that we use and just getting back into after not really doing a lot uh, in April uh, as, as my lockdown and furlough extended um for me I, I just had to get back to doing something creative and and this is why uh, i brought back the 23 podcast show uh, for that and quite a few other reasons as well so this is part of my creativity as well so thank you very much for coming on uh, and no, being no, a part of it letting me on and stuff like that because it's a great thing for me to promote my, uh, my pl uh, platform and stuff like that and to be able to have a yeah. chat, chat away again with a pal that I'll not yeah. be able to see at an event because I'm not going to have any events for God knows how know. long. And it's good to see you online, like, oh, you're live, you've got Beckle in this one, oh, I'll take a wee nosy, see what they're saying. It's, it's great, you know what I mean? It's definitely, it's, it's um, the best option at the moment for me connecting uh, with as many of my pals and musicians and creative people um, that I know at the moment uh, without breaking the, the lockdown rules. Just, just on, on that note, um, uh, I, I won't disclose the name, but uh, I had a, I had a quite an extensive conversation uh, earlier on today 
with um, so he, the 23 Universe audience that we've got on here and yourself, this is a, a wee bit of an exclusive which isn't shared or ha, I have not seen yet shared officially outside of so there's there's an organisation called the NTIA, the Nighttime Industries Association mm. and there's, there's what, 750 odd members of them or something like that. So there's there's been some significant uh, talks that are part of a kind of like a white paper that the that's going through government and having to get like rubber stamped uh, scientific approval. We 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 know the situation with the the virus that it's it's a moving target and and things are changing quite rapid rapidly. Sadly, obviously the the, the deaths are still increasing daily and, and that's the biggest tragedy obviously through all of this uh due to well they certainly wouldn't have been been as high if it wasn't for the fucking Tories ineptitude and dealing with this whole pandemic and, and being in denial about it from the start. But I'll not go on a rant about that. So what we're looking at at the moment is Glasgow City Council um in a, in about a fortnight's time, so around about the eighteenth of June they will know whether outdoor uh, seating and eating is going to be allowed again uh, in terms of um, maintaining some form of social distance when you're doing that. But it may be down to a metre socially distanced by then. Um, in terms of being, in terms of things reopening indoors, the there is a potential that come August, September time, um, venues might be able to reopen um, with, with a, a one metre socially distanced uh, expectation for people to kind of self-police themselves in that way. If that was to be the case, then then that would allow venues to reopen at 60% of capacity. At the moment, with the two metre socially uh, distancing um, stipulation, the venues would only be able to open at 12.5% of capacity. Now, we, we all know any venue that was only only able to open at 12.5% capacity, I'm reading this from my notes that I took from the call, uh, mm. simply could not afford to open at 12.5% capacity. They would be taking a loss, what's the point? Exactly. Exactly. No, that's not going to happen. Exactly. So it's uh, that that actually that 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 gave me. I I needed. Had had some bad news actually. So I, I needed a, a wee a wee shot of some 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 light at the end of the tunnel. Well, um, a one meter thing. So that's kind of telling you. And was it? Was it, did you say they're going to be saying that it's going to be on the eighteenth of June? Um, p- potentially, but only for outdoor. Eating and seating, well, because they they know that outdoor, um, it's there's, 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 there's aye, and yeah, 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 and stuff like yeah. that. You know, exactly. It has to take some positive faith that 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 that's it coming back slowly but surely. It's coming back, and uh, even if you look at other parts of the world, in America, in Germany, down south, in what like, England and all that, it's things are start things are. Start, Picking back to like normal because I think this disease is going to it's caused more harm than good. Uh, I think it the amount of life that it's took, but the amount of life that having everybody knowing work, everybody's no gain money to charities and things like that. The people are no paying taxes, so there's no enough uh, grants being gave to mental health and people that's on the street and stuff like that. It's it's crazy times, so as it's like, uh, it's, mate, it's it's absolutely staggering what the the scale of the impact this is going to have. Um, ju- ju- just to go go back to some positivity uh, on the back of sharing that video, quite quite a few comments came in there, Dale. So just to let you know, uh, Gary says your video was excellent. Um, there's the big man tuning in. Nice vid, Dale. Uh, thanks very much. Um, Tuning in there and uh, what about natural selection? That's a Steg G album. Um, is that 
Tim the Crazy Paul. Uh, hello on the Twitch. Uh, Lewis Brown, Will Evil's film is a masterpiece of Scottish hip hop. Um, how are we all doing? We're doing all right, mate. How are you? Uh, Bob, we all need to blow our own trumpet more. <laughs> or, or, or blow our own kazoo more. <laughs> That's my wee kazoo solo there. Uh, your film was amazing, by the way. Well done. Uh, it has been a mad time. Please don't say, say sit about sitting in cars at gigs. No, just no. Uh, dr- Drive-in gigs are, are, are also another potential there, so whether you like it or not, Sharon, I think they're going to happen. Well, Maybe better, unfortunate. Better that than the gig. Exactly. You social distance. Exactly. And you exactly. can do it quickly, then come on, get, out, get yeah. out there and get some fresh air as well. Yeah. But obviously, <laughs> can you make it be this thing where people go on and have a drink than the person that's driving. It's like we need to kind of, there's a lot of slippery slopes. Yeah, I mean, uh, just L- Libby there, unfortunately, a lot of venues won't survive this. You're, you're right, Libby. Uh, sadly, they won't. Um, hope all okay with you, David. Uh, doing my best, thanks, Mary. I'm doing my best. Um, just to go back to Sharon's point there, uh, just about the, the drive-in gigs. Really, my stance on that is pretty simple. Um, if you love music and you want to support the musicians and the bands and the artists that you love, then if the only way that they can actually make money again is by playing a drive-in gig, if there aren't any other alternatives, you've got to remember that is it, when we when we move through as we move through this portal, whatever the new normal is going to look like, it's not it's not going to be the same. Like we need to oh, no, we, need, no. we need to start understanding that everything has completely changed now. And the new normal is not going to be what we previously knew as normal. It is going to be quite literally a new normal. So if you love music and a band you love is playing a drive-in gig, you have the choice. Of course you have the choice. Nobody nobody will force anybody. To, we all have freedom of choice, so nobody's going to force you to go to a drive-in gig if you're adam, adamantly against that for whatever reason. However... Um, if you have a band and you want to make sure that they're still a band a yep. few months down the line, then these full time musicians are going to have to earn money from somewhere. So, um, you you'll just need to do that. Um, if that's what you choose to do. But Sean's saying I'd, I'd rather I'd rather not go. I love to dance. I'd rather donate money. Well, if they set up a drive through gig and then maybe they've got like a they set up their own PayPal as well, or maybe it's streamed and you can watch it at home and you can have a dance in, dance in your living room. We're, we're all going to need to put the thinking caps on and come up with new creative ideas. And again, let's go just, 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 a parking spot at, at, the, at a flat or something. Be nice uh, just, just, and that. <laughs> and, all right, your driveway right here. Right. Well, let's, let, let's, let's remember how hip hop started. Mm. Block, block parties, hip hop uh, arose out of the rubble of ghettos in New York. I mean, quite literally, some of these areas, New York City as a city was bankrupt, and these ghetto and block parties started off um, because there were no other options mm. uh, for for people other than to start doing what they were doing uh, and. Just creating uh, again, the, the the originators of hip hop were the facilitators of their own cre- creative evolution, to to use Bill Hicks' quote, and this is where we're at. Like we're we're all we're all going to need to be creative and adapt what we've done before to still have some form of entertainment that, as musicians, as venues, as promoters as music lovers and anybody else that's involved in the creative process. So like your graphic designers who make a poster, your website designers who are updating websites. Got to remember that the entire music ecosystem is is stopped right now. So we have to find options to restart that. Otherwise, what's the alternative? We just say, right, 
the live music scene is completely dead and we accept that. That's that's yeah. simply simply not going to happen. Um, what we were saying there, there's always a bandstand at Kelvin Grove Park. That's that's an outdoor option. Uh, there's also people like the riggers who set up gigs are waiting to get back to work as well. Correct. A full, full music ecosystem. We can dance and wear mad protective boiler suits like in the rave days. That's another option as well. Maybe we might need to do that, get the old dusk masks back on again. <laughs> um, I, I did notice there uh, Big Andy Duncan had commented on there from Miracle Glass Company. Uh, he he he'd said nice video, Dale. Um, as much as I love Miracle Glass Company, I'm going to give their Facebook page a share in the comments. Uh, please give them a like. Del, do you have time? Would you mind if we watched the Miracle Glass Company video? Ah, right, my man. Cool. Um, you you decide like what. Mary, 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 Mary. Yep, that's a good choice. Okay, so. We're going to watch some Miracle Glass Company here. I will just line it up. What was your involvement in making this one, if you had oh, any? I don't have any, any, anything we own this one. It's a great, it's a great one, so it is. That is uh, the blind date one, isn't it? Mm. Right, so, okay. It you back. <laughs> it definitely does. Um, if you do or you don't know Miracle Glass Company, they're one of the finest rock and roll bands in the world. We believe in the power of rock and roll. We are about to watch their video for Mary Mary. This was also directed by Tommy Slack. And it's from their second album, MGC2. So we'll watch the video. Um, if you like the song, you can go and check them out. They'll be across all your... Uh, normal streaming platforms, but I will also share the band camp. Um, again, musicians need supported through this if you want to go and buy their album. I think I have I've got the CD in the car. Give it a wee listen in there. And we'll see you on the other side of Miracle Glass Company. Mary, Mary. Enjoy. Mary, it can make you feel mad 
taking a hit after hit. Mm, God says your lovers driving each other mad. Cause love is falling to bits. Well, my Mary takes it easy. Well, my Mary tends to know. And when the lights are gone, we're on, we're on, you know. What a video! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Ah, uh, takes you back. It does. So oh, there, there's guys saying I miss seeing the neon lit up at night. I miss the atmosphere at the bar. As you and me both. How do you, Andy? So I'll just give the Miracle Glass Company Mary Mary video a share there in the comments. Please give their YouTube channel a subscribe as well. Um, whilst we're at it, just a wee bit of self promotion. If you've not liked the uh, 23 Universe YouTube channel, I will give that a share in the comments, please. That would be very kind of you if you can give that give that a subscribe to keep up to date with a um, future podcast show uh, and any other new videos that we are releasing um, throughout lockdown and, and beyond. Um, also, I did say I would, uh, <clears throat> if you enjoyed the that Miracle Glass Company video, um please go on and you can get their album from their band camp. Uh what I liked about that video as well, Dell, is just at the end there, um uh, when they win the comp uh, when Jay from Stoke big Andy. maybe Andy's hair is actually now like that after all these weeks yeah. in lockdown without a barber. <coughs> let, let us know. Oh, hi. <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. Send, send, send me a picture, Andy. Let, let me know what your hair's looking like. Um, but I, I liked the uh, so they at the end they they're away to the Sea of Cortez for the date, uh, and the Sea of Cortez is is one of one of another one of the brilliant songs that's on the the MGC two album. So please check that out. Um, so you you mentioned uh, I'm I'm conscious of time, Dell, for you. You uh, you're working tomorrow. You said yeah. I I am working tomorrow. I've still got my dinner and stuff like that. Just busy, busy. You know how things are. Even when you go shopping today, day, you're waiting outside in a queue for ages. Then you're waiting inside the show show let's say another a queue to get the, the checkout and that. So just busy stuff because you're us. You know what I mean? A long day. Um. Well, let me. I'll let you shoot off and then I'll play another video that you've done. So you mentioned Empress. Yep, yep, yep. I've done one for Emin Press and I think probably the best one would be uh, I OK then. Okay, so I OK then. Um, our last gig actually, Empress was on stage with us. Is that an so, Evan? Uh, no, our, our last gig was. Um, 
the old fruit market, Friday the 17th of January for Celtic Connections. Uh, we had a sellout for that. And during the song, uh, These Are Not The Drugs You're Looking For, we usually have a few um, MCs join us to, to uh, throw down some bars during our middle eight section in that song. And we were joined that night by uh, Mark McGee, Empress and Boz, I think it was. Actually, I, uh, it was it was Boz. So shout, shout out to all of them. Um, okay, well, do you need to shoot off now then, mate? Uh, I don't really. I, I, mate. Tell me about you, truth, because my stomach's gone a bit. And I, I, mate, you, you, you go and get it. You go and get your scran. I'll hold the fort here. Um, we're going to just, we're going to show a few videos. Um, I'll just have a wee one-on-one with the twenty-three universe. We're, we're going to just going to have a wee chat with some of the com- comments that are in there. Uh, yeah. I might just play a few more music videos as well. I want to say thanks for uh, and have and me on and all that, and thanks for everybody that goes to check the video and stuff like that. I hope that you enjoy it and as much as I did, like making it and stuff like that. It's really funny and so uh, uh, half of the stuff like that is not even uh, on it and all that. The stuff that happens behind the scenes and all that, but a lot of the gold stuff is right in front of the camera. So he. We, uh, would you abroad like and I film like we like and stuff, uh, stuff like that and watch for my content coming out? Yep, uh, I'll just uh, bring up so that's that's a Ouija abroad. Uh, we watched the trailers there earlier on. If you just go onto YouTube, type in a Ouija abroad, the, they're on there. Uh, get them watched in chronological order one, two, and three. Uh, number one, you so you're out in Amsterdam, Austria, and Germany. Number yep. two, you were in USA, and number three, you were over in the Golden Triangle in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. Yep, yep. But there's only the, there's only two up one line, which is Ouija Broad two and Ouija Broad three. So, because all right, okay, and that's so there. So that's and then, fine. You're uh, that. And then, so you've got your own uh, iFilms, and what I'll do is just to, just to bring it back up again to the top of. The comments, iPhones, and Mac Eye photos, isn't it? I, I, I just added the uh, Mac Eye photos because somebody already had iPhone, so I had to add to it. Right. Uh, one of their ones, so it was one okay. of their ones. Uh, nice one. I'll drop again there at, at the bottom. Nice one. Okay, Bill. Thank, thank you very much, mate. Peace, um, enjoy, bro. Enjoy your dinner. I will do, my man. Right. I'll speak to you soon. Catch you in a bit. Thanks, mate. Take care. Yeah, Hopefully, bye. see you soon. Bye, mate. Bye. And then there there was one. Um, So thanks, everybody, who's still with us for now. That's uh, Dell had to go and get his dinner there. Uh, Dell's Dell's a key worker. He's still working through all of this. Um, Tommy had some other things that he had to do as well. Um, He's still homeschooling. He's wee lassie throughout, throughout this. And uh, just as we were finishing up the chat there with uh, Dell, Dell, Dell has made quite a few more um, excellent videos with some brilliant hip hop artists uh, here in Glasgow and through in Edinburgh. So, one of the, the top female MCs in Scotland is Empress, who is also on the, the Stead G and Freestyle Master and Solar Eye and CCTV, CCTV album, The Air In Between. So we'll give a wee watch to Empress just now, uh, her video for I OK then. Um, if you've got any questions for myself in the comments, feel free to drop them in and we'll see you on the other side of some Empress. Enjoy. I spit the mud to the stuff All you bum bitches are about to get snuffed Go ahead and above this and turn the shit up I'll be the E behind the reason you'll be gone and the fuck I'll flip the heat up in this motherfucker 
up on this bitch up wow. Even with a rap to the floor, you can't fuck with me, no I'll debo your bitch bro and seen it on vivo yeah. Please know my style, you'll get lynched in beast mode Cause all my competition are dead or dying in a heat stroke Even with my focus, you still can't see me My local it's as close as you'll ever get to be me And near me, I can stay pressed like a panini The fuck up quick, well I sip in my bellini anyway Back to the flows in my energy You don't have the raps of the flows to fuck with energy I'll embellish you, straight cross dressing you So identity will be the fucking only thing that's stressing me Hey, what did you say then? I okay then Are you okay hen? I okay then Your way is fine with the games but I don't play them So I okay then, I okay then What did you say hen? I okay then This isn't great then? I okay then You prefer muck your sensor to fuck well I okay then, I okay then So I okay then I go so hard I break pens Your language is your language you know You don't make sense Subtract the fact that you're not grasping the fact Then add to the fact that you can actually back actual facts I gave bitches time to match the effort You slip vines, it cracks vines and that's to make your neck hurt And back ass is decapitating herbs with neck cut You fuck up quick before I affect your network The bogus in the notice is straight lack of focus The repetition deal with your cunt, I'm sure you know this You lost it, I got this, I stumped more than most of it It's got all your feet fucks into your face looking hopeless Hand in your notice, don't come close and I warn you I don't need to boast, I like success, do it for me You hate, I can't relate, too busy winning, it's true You're great, how you feel then that's enough just for you what did you say then? I okay then. Are you okay hen? I okay then. Your way is fine with the games but I don't play them. So I okay then. I okay then. What did you say hen? I okay then. This isn't great then? I okay then. You prefer muck your sensor to fuck well. I okay then. I okay then. So that was another video there from iFilms for Empress, and I'll give that a share in the comments as well. Please go on and um, subscribe to Empress's YouTube channel. Uh, I will also give Empress's Facebook page a share um, if you want to go on and Give that a link as well. Uh, actually, does she have? I'm not sure actually if Empress is on Facebook. Uh, actually, I think. Not sure actually. I'll, I'll have a wee look for that, see what I can find. Uh, I'll just go to the comments here. Uh, Sharon was saying there to Dell before he left take your hair out the bobble. Oh, Andy, right, okay. Uh, yes, cool. Uh, also, Amy LeMay, the Radio 6 music legend. Yes, she is indeed. Um, Amy was DJing at our after party at the old fruit market gig as well. That was some night. Um, what we were saying, thanks, Stell, there before you went. Um, hope you're enjoying your pizza, Andy. Um, Mary was enjoying that. Thank you very much. Uh, Sharon, the singer is from Glasgow. Not sure what part of Glasgow. Uh, that was really great. It was. It was a great video. Um, I did mention earlier on. Um, back up the comments. Watching us on the YouTube is my my pal Scott Dorman, uh, who goes by the the rap name of Are You Really Alive? So tonight's show is uh, we're leaning quite heavily to to hip hop. That's all good. Hip hop's a, a brilliant genre. Uh, there is so so many amazing hip hop uh, artists, MCs, DJs, breakers, uh, graffiti artists. You name it. Um, Scotland has a, a plethora of talent when it comes to hip hop. And uh, Scott had sent me. Uh, I'd seen his his new video for Ghost Tune. Uh, he released it. It premiered on the 16th of May, 2020, uh, which was shot by Malfunction. That's uh, a pal, Mal, who Mal and Scott work in um, McCool's. So what we'll do is we'll have a watch of the Are You Really Alive Ghost Tune video. 
thanks very much for, for tuning in this evening. And we'll have a wee watch of this. Uh, it's two and a half minutes long. So let's have a watch of Are You Real Alive Ghosting? We'll see you on the other side of that. Ghosting, boasting, you're the most dope pissed in a ghost too. Fancy promotions, I'll arrange your own soon. Fans in the devotion, standing with the phones out. I know you're phone book for smoking all the cones, dude. In the house alone, when your numbers in your phone book. Go score, dude, going through the motions. So hold, dude, and know for the gold you're hoping. When I stop playing heads down, thumbs up, click, like, click, love statues, for the next stop. Now sit shut, looking for a bucket to kick from a wooden chair to boot dance to just keep up the jet. Virtual signals, so something simple. Drawing the inspiration for the copy that it does. Well, can you get on at the age of the god of the days? Pockets replaced with watches and watches. But keep them in the game, you can even talk to them today. Though the poor people are scoring and saving the hints of the same. It's boring just scrolling and seven to the waste my days. Right, they're vegetated by the feet as the clock feeds. Choice of the ways to run a bad race, I'd rather be the first one in last place. I can't click it, have a bad print, can't shake it. But I've paid them my subscription already, so I'm running away. I'm ready to make me when it all goes down. Boasting, you're the most dope pissed in a ghost too. Fancy for notions, I'll arrange your own soon. Fans in the devotion, stand with the phones out. I know you're so good for smoking all the cones, dude. In the house alone, when the numbers in your phone book. Go score, dude, going through the motions. So hold, dude, and know for the gold you're holding. It's looking like it could be the root of the problem Putting two and two together, how if I get off it is Cogs are turning, but they're no joined on to nothing Except the cords are cutting, running from the house Shun responsibility, they overdo diligence Now I'm the one that's bidding me Laughing the irony of how it's life It's killing me from casting iron Till the melting point is hit again Letting them away, measure the precipitation Take a sip and get a taste, now it's all clear From the face comes brain guns blazing Not a end of seeing staples underneath a clean cable Slide the cleaning stations we were raised on Seeking ratings, keeping up appearances and peeping through the people's gate. We feel enough to keep us cheering for the heedless way. Unless they say we're not keeping, we can see the play. Ready for me, when it all goes down. Boasting, you're the most dope pissed in a ghost too. Fancy for notions, I'll arrange your own soon. Fans in the devotion, stand with the phones out. I know you're so good for smoking all the cones, dude. In the house alone, when the numbers in your phone book. Go score, dude, going through the motions. So hold, dude, and know for the gold you're holding. And we're back. I'll just give that a share in the comments there. Um, please go on, as we always ask ask uh, the 23 Universe to do. Um, give the Are You Real Alive channel a wee subscribe, please. Um, you'll be able to check all these previous videos and be notified then when any new ones come up. Um, Thank you, Andy. I can't see you, but I'm sure you're looking very well as well, and uh, I'm sure you're enjoying your pizza. Um, you're welcome, Scott. Really enjoyed that, mate. Uh, did actually just notice. I think you've got another, another vid, another new video that you've released on there. Um, been busy during lockdown. Good on you, mate. I'll give that a watch after I, I'm off from here. Um, so uh, along with giving giving you some, some exclusive news on hopefully when venues can reopen, etc. Uh, and what the the live music landscape is going to be looking like over the next few months. Um, I think we can more or less assume that festival season, certainly out to September, is, is a write-off. Um, very, very slim chance that we might have some of the 
the the latest festivals in the calendar, but uh, kind of like the the news coming out in my notes from my my call earlier on today with one of the members of the Nighttime Industries Association. Um, we're looking like maybe around about August or September time. There might be limited capacity gigs. Um, if the science, this, uh, bear in mind, this this is this is also predicated on there not being a second wave. Um, and the the R number that I think in Scotland the the most recent I'd seen is the R number is between point seven to point nine at the moment. Um, but um, if if the if if the science is on our side and the R number goes down, hopefully a wee bit more, then come August or September. So some venues may be able to open with a, a one metre socially distance specification at 60% of capacity. Um, the, the, there's no guarantees on that at the moment, but this is the, the, the top level, the highest level chat that's going on just now between the Nighttime Industries Association and also um, government, uh, the various ministerial departments uh, that deal with this kind of thing. Uh, I think that'd be the, minister, the Department for Culture, Entertainment and Sport, I think. Um, so we'll, we'll wait and see what's happening with that. Um, for those who are tuning in and for those who are regular listeners of Six Music, I would just like to, to give you a wee exclusive tonight as well. Uh, tomorrow on Six Music, on the the Sean Keevney show, you may or may not know Sean Keevney is a, a big fan of the Dijons and the Yellow Movement. He regularly wears his uh, into work. And tomorrow, I'll be ticking a, a small lifetime goal where uh, Sean's small claims court will actually be with myself. So at quarter past two, yeah, 2.15 tomorrow afternoon on Sean Keevney show on BBC Radio 6 Music, uh, I will be on sharing with the, the listeners my small claim for Sean's small claim court. I can't give you any spoilers or tell you what it is, but it's uh, it's one of my favourite stories uh, from years gone by. Uh, very much looking forward to sharing that uh, tomorrow. So thank you, everybody. Uh, something's happening. I don't know if there's any more comments that came in, but um, my, my little scrolling comments uh, tab uh, appears to have frozen at the moment. So um, what I'm just going to do just now is uh, thanks, thanks everyone. Oh, thank everyone, should I say, for tuning in tonight. Uh, we were joined by Tommy and Delboy. Tommy from 0405 Photography. Delboy from iFilms. Uh, they collaborated on to release... Uh, make and release a Ouija Abroad, which you'll find on the YouTube. Um, you'll get the second and the third part of the trilogy on the YouTube. They're very, very, very funny. And I would uh, advise you, if you have the time, get on, pop them on your watch them after this. If you've got the time, if you're a night owl, you're staying up, or uh, put them on your, your watch list for later. But definitely check them out. They're fantastic. and also. Um, Check out the, the back catalogue of amazing videos that uh, Thomas Clack has made through his 0405 YouTube channel, um, Miracle Glass Company. He's done 13 videos with Gasp now. He's done videos with Loki and quite a few more. Um, and Dell's now, as we've seen there, with the Empress video and the Steg G and Freestyle Master video. Um, he's, he's knocking out the park with him as well now. Knocking out the park, knocking out the park. Just before we go, um, I'm wearing, just to show you up here on the screen, a nice wee customised wristband that was made for me by my cousin Claire. 
Um, my cousin Claire and her partner have set up a wee company, a wee creative company, and they're making these wristbands. Uh, their Facebook page is called Crafting for Parkinson's because, unfortunately, um, Neil's dad, um, my cousin's husband, uh, his dad sadly has Parkinson's. So they're trying to raise some awareness throughout lockdown about the condition and also by making these uh, lovely wristbands, which can be customised there, and there's some, some NHS bespoke ones as well, using the lovely rainbow colours of the NHS. I've got my own rainbow for the NHS in here as well, which is that. I think we all know why. If we want to protect the NHS, Tory voters at the next election, stay home, save lives. So if you want to check out the Crafting for Parkinson's uh, Facebook, I've just given that a share there in the comments. Um, for, for not a lot of money, you can get yourself a, a nice wee wristband. They've got quite a number of different options on there. They're even doing some bespoke ones for some musician pals of mine. Um, Thomas Newell and uh, the Dihydro up in the Highlands. Uh, so that, that's, that's some of the options that they've got on there. Uh, as you can see, I've got the black and yellow one on. A couple of col colours that I, I really like. And yeah, well, we're just trying to raise some awareness, obviously, for Parkinson's and also um, try and raise some money for Parkinson's UK as well. Um, so my, my comments have, have just suddenly loaded there. So I'll just I'll just quickly go through the last remaining comments. Um, Sharon needs some hope. Um, we, we all need hope during these times, Sharon. Sometimes we, we need to look deep deep within ourselves and find the hope and become the hope for other people as well. So we are looking for it externally. Uh, but similarly, um, we need to just try and maintain a positive mental attitude, positive mental thinking as well. Um, we all need to try and get through this as best we can. Um, I've actually got a, a little graphic um, which relates to that, which is... Who do you want to be during COVID-19? Do you want to live in the fear zone? Which is... Yeah, there's a few things in there. I've not got my glasses on. But um, I suppose fear is just binging on too much of the news and, and sharing... Uh, falsely attributed social media, particularly during this very important time. Um, moving into the learning zone is giving up what you can't control. Stop compulsively consuming what hurts you from food to news. Identifying and checking in with your emotions. Becoming aware of the situation and thinking how is best to, to act or react and act. Evaluating information before spreading something false. Recognising that we're all trying to do our best. Uh, and then hopefully we're moving into the growth zone with clearly some oscillation between them. Uh, I think of others and how to help them. I make my talents available to those who need them. I live in the present and focus on the future. You're empathetic with yourself and others. You thank and appreciate others. You keep a happy emotional state and spread hope. And you look for a way to adapt to new changes. You practice quietude, patience, relationships and creativity. So these are the things we need to focus on uh, and also um, what we what we all need to, need to be stepping up and doing is oh my graphics have frozen there doing what we can to get behind the Black Lives Matter campaign I'm all for supporting that uh, that, that is a campaign that definitely needs our support um, institutional racism and police brutality are not confined just to the USA and we all have an obligation to be doing what we can to um, show support and solidarity with uh, all of our brothers and sisters of um, different ethnicities who have been experiencing 
uh, certainly over in the States, just incredible, distressing, harrowing and horrific scenes over there. Um, so my question to all of us really is, what can we do uh, to play our part in helping helping out with that as well? Um, and in actual fact, there, there's a, I just remembered, there is an online event this Saturday afternoon, which is, is an educational event uh, by, bear with me and let me find it, it's on Facebook, it's an o- online Scotland rally from Minnesota to Kirkcaldy, Black Lives Matter, Racism, COVID-19 and Police Brutality. And there, it's been organised by Stand Up to Racism in Scotland, uh, Stand Up to Racism in Glasgow, Glasgow University, Stand Up to Racism Society and Stand Up to Racism Tayside. So um, there was a, a terrible death of a black, black man from... Um, I can't remember what country he was from, but anyway, he was living in Scotland now in Kirkcaldy, uh, and um, his family, uh, there were some terrible injuries sustained by him when he was in jail, and um, there's going to be a talk by Amir Anwar on this, who is uh, Sheku Bio's family lawyer, as his family uh, tried to get justice um, in their campaign for finding out how he died in cu- cust- police custody with lots of terrible, terrible injuries. So I've just given the Facebook event for that a share. It is a Saturday. It's online um, from midday to half past one. So please give that a check out there. Uh, Mary was saying, I can't see you either on Facebook or my phone, but can see comments, put it on YouTube, on TV. Susan, uh, you're welcome, Susan. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy well. Uh, Neil, you're welcome, mate. Okay, so uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, What day is this? This is Thursday. So tomorrow, tomorrow we actually have over my shoulder there. We've got the, the the Beatles Yellow Submarine album, which uh, is my album that I have framed. Uh, tomorrow we've got a Beatles special. So it's uh, a Beatles special, and it is with three amazing musicians. I'm trying to find my Yellow Submarine album here in, in my graphics suite. Please tell me I've not deleted it. Oh, there we go. Uh, Yellow Submarine, the, 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 you can see there the two twenty threes next to one another on your screen just now. That's where I took the inspiration to call the 23 podcast show, the 23 podcast show. Uh, the 23 universe is, is also a, a double Beatles meaning. The 23 from the cover there that you see on Yellow Submarine and the universe, just when I came up with the idea, I was listening to the Beatles and one of my favourite all-time Beatles songs all across the universe came along. So I thought I would combine the two. 23 from Yellow Submarine, Universe from all across the universe, uh, from Abbey Road. And uh, that's where that's where my inspiration came from, from that. So tomorrow night, three amazing musicians. Uh, Daniel McGeever, John McKenzie and Ewan Gibson. The three amazing musicians who are just fanatical about the Beatles like myself. Um, are absolutely encyclopedic knowledge about the Beatles. And they um, are going to be playing some Beatles songs for us from their isolation stations. We're going to be chatting about um, a project that they were involved in going back a couple of years now. So the 50th anniversary of the White Album. Uh, in October, no, November 2018, they they got together and learned with some other amazing musicians uh, all of the White Album in its entirety, and they played all of the White Album on the 50th anniversary, uh, uh, multiple sellout gigs in Edinburgh and Glasgow over the last couple of years. Uh, they recently, at the start of this, restreamed the White Album as well. Uh, so if you're a fan of the Beatles, uh, please tune in from tomorrow night from 9 o'clock for Daniel McGeever, John McKenzie 
and Ewan Gibson from the their own various musical projects. Uh, but they got together for the White Album Live. Uh, I've got a few last comments in there. Uh, oh, Mary was in Co- Kirkcaldy. You'll probably know about this story. Uh, Andy, thank you. Take care of yourself, family. Andy, you're an amazing person too. Thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate everybody tuning in and keeping me company throughout these podcasts. I'm here on my own just now, but obviously I appreciate everybody tuning in when we have guests and we've got some amazing guests on tomorrow night, just like we had some amazing guests on tonight as well. So on that note, I would just like to say peace, love, 23 podcast show. Thank you. Good night. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.